Hi everyone, it's Corrie. Today I'm going to show you how to put this cauldron candy holder together. So here we are with all the pieces cut out. Um, I've used like this green holographic card for the um, bubbles and the, I guess it's like a witch's portion. This piece with the larger circle is the front and here is the iris shutter this one has a longer handle and there's a link below to the tutorial on how to put that together that's a separate tutorial this is vinyl white vinyl that's the um, sort of the shiny bits of the bubbles and then here we have a white piece and a black piece they have a smaller hole smaller circle and they will basically just sandwich the iris shutter between them. For now, we're going to focus on the front piece. Um, the first thing I'll do is to weed this white piece of vinyl. And you'll see what that's for in a little while. And the next thing I will do is use my Beacon 3-in-1 glue. And I'm going to place these green pieces down on the black, just a couple of pieces down so I can work out exactly where they sit. In this design, there's like a little outline around the bubbles just to make it have that cartoon effect. Um, so I just want to make sure I'm leaving enough of a line around them so it gives that cute effect. I'm just going to glue the green and the white born down there we go so that's most of the front piece I'll come back to this white vinyl in a moment once I know that everything has been um, set in place once the glue has dried a little bit but we'll move on to the back piece so here I have the iris shutter and if you put it in place, you can see where the arm is going to swing like that. And then you can decide where you want to put it on the design. I like to put it on the right hand side, but I think on this design you could maybe put it across the bottom if you prefer that. So turn the iris shutter over and go around the outer ring with the glue. Pop it down onto the white piece and then turn it over just make sure that these two circles are aligned at the back and then what I'm going to do is just put this foam tape all over the back piece apart from where the arm will swing then I'm taking my glue again and going on the outside ring of the iris shutter again And then I'm taking this black piece. Obviously, you can cut these whatever color you want. Um, and I'm just going to line those two up. If you want a pink cauldron, you can do that. That's perfectly fine. But uh, I'm just going to go with the colors that I've designed. So just pop that in place, give it a squeeze. And then once I've given it a, a squeeze all the way around, I like to check that the iris shutter is still working because sometimes we can get glue or a piece of the foam tape just in the wrong place and that will stop it working. Okay, so that's basically the back piece done. I'm going to move over to the front again and I'm going to use some uh, transfer tape here. I'm just going to do it one by one and transfer each of the white pieces of the bubbles they're like little shiny pieces it's just again to give a slightly more cartoon effect you don't have to put these pieces on but i think they look really cute right the next thing is to put the front onto the back pieces now your bauble will go in between those or your half dome we call them a bauble in the uk 
And what I like to do is go around this area with glue. Now if you've got um, a glue that might stain your card, you could always just run a pencil around and then put the glue in place. But I like to do it like this and then I remove the front piece and put the dome in the place. It's good if you could leave this for quite a while to dry. I'm just doing this really quickly for the tutorial. And then the next step is either foam tape all over or you can use glue. I'm going to use the glue today. It really is up to you um, if you prefer a more 3D effect then I would use the foam tape. But I'm just going to go all around that back with glue. And then I take the front piece and again just line it up as best I can. Okay, and there is our finished candy holder. I'll just show you, show you it working again. There we go. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it useful. Please follow and subscribe. Thanks now. Bye.